Hi, I'm Will Hughes, I use they them pronouns, and I'm here today with YSI Sculpture Network, who are here to see my studio at the Auxiliary in Middlesbrough. I really like flocking because it's so um, textural. Like, I think a huge part of my practice is touch. Even like not being allowed to touch things or um, bodily contacts and things like that, there's, um, yeah, it's, it's a big part of why I make work, I think. So here we have a fully flocked handle, um, which I made in kind of response to like lockdown and how I've been feeling with um, not being able to touch things and not being able to be on public transport. And I especially noticed them when I was away somewhere and I was just watching them like um, sway in the wind and how they still existed without us even being there. Um, but when I'm making things as well, I also like to bejewel things slightly. And there's also like these, like these earrings that I'm wearing, which are the same ones as in here. And, um, but they bring on that, this fetish wear sort of um, aesthetic to the work as well and um, which is around like my queer identity and um, I like to show myself within every work um, but always with a veneer rather than putting myself fully into it so then other people can kind of project themselves into things as well. So within this work I use a lot of um, ready-made objects. So we've got the crystals which I bought through eBay because I'm obsessed with hunting for things on eBay apparently. Um, it's part of my process um, and then the actual um, the woodwork itself was fabricated with a CNC machine. The, the glass, um, it's reeded glass, um, but it had to be shaped to fit within this frame. Um, I think that was the most expensive part of the work to be honest, the glass. Um, and then behind it we've got the um, the two um, balls which I cut in half and then compressed into the work to look like a bum or flesh pressed against um, glass in like a shower with the crystals almost acting like raindrops and or like shower drops um, cascading down the wall and adding to that seduction and um, sleekness of the finish I really enjoy. So this is a, um, a steering wheel from a classic mini um, that I've collected which I'm going to cast um, to remake and um, jewel in some crazy ways as usual um, but the reason I wanted this is because it was um, the same style as what I had in my first car which was a classic mini and the reason we had that car was because of my grand my granddad was um, used to be a rally driver back in the day when every garage had like a rally team and I wanted to pay homage to him and because he's been such a huge part of my life and the cars as well car industry and like it's really part of working class culture, I think, about how we change objects and to make them our own through bejeweling or through layering. And it's kind of how I produce a lot of my work is um, through social histories, which aren't always that obvious. Um, but for me, it's always there and that's enough for me to know it's there. You kind of pick up like the aesthetics of the music industry as well within my work or film. And I was actually, um, I went to an artist talk the other night um, by Stuart Langley and they were talking about old lights and how they glowed and how they were warm and I was like it's really interesting today how everything's a cold light and glamour is also seen as something cold and I was like well glamour is like succeeding in now because of the coldness of technology and how lights are now changing to be cold as well from warmth and so we're seeing a different sort of um, a feel to the way it caresses the body through lighting within everyday life and I thought that blew my mind. <laughs> Within the show, I really wanted to um, lean on like the industrial narratives of the building. Um, so this is Stunning Fierce and Yellow Part Two, and within the first one, it was in a, like a traditional white cube gallery. But then with it, the auxiliary, we we're blessed with this beautiful architecture and the industrial narrative of the building. So I wanted to use these lights, um, which I'd first seen used um, when I was walking down the high street and they're regenerating a lot of the places. And um, they were using these like tube lights, and I was like, "Oh my god, that looks crazy good! Um, can I use those for my work?" And then luckily, I work at B and Q, so they gave me a really huge discount on these lights. They've just anchored the show within the space. Um, like we haven't used any of the walls or anything as well, um, so the the exhibition also floats within the space, and it's the same footprint as what we had previously in um, Gallery North through the double yellow lines within the show. Um, but this time you can actually go outside of the lines and um, view it as an outsider and come in as well.